Another excellent and free tool that you can use to great advantage is Power BI. If you go to powerbi.com, you can click on the desktop download version and you can get started right away with some Power BI analysis. And you end up, after launching the app, looking at a screen like this. And now it's got many similarities to Excel. And one thing you will notice if you do install it is that it updates all the time. And that's because there's been a lot of advances almost weekly with additional functionality, including the ability to interact with the code language R. But we're going to be really simple here. We're only going to focus on the visualization part rather than the importing part. Power Query is a very sophisticated engine that can clean and import your data automatically for you from things like CSV files. So check it out. You can find a lot of information out about it on YouTube already or do a little Power Query course. Getting data straight from a spreadsheet is the demo I want to stick with. We can see that inside this file there's a sheet called data and a table called TBL data. If I click that one you can see it previews the data and I could delete data and clean things up a little bit if I wanted to but it's already a pretty good data set so I'm just going to choose load. Does a little bit of work behind the scenes for us, but shortly we're going to be able to start creating visualizations much like we would in pivot tables. So let's get started. I'm going to start with dragging a field directly onto the canvas. Just giving me a list of names at the moment. Nothing spectacular there, but why don't I also drag across position specific rating. Drag it onto that little area that I've created already and it gives me some numbers. If I click up on the visualizations it's now going to change that into a bar chart. I could change it into a column chart but a bar is good for now. If I drag that out and make it a little bit bigger I can do a few things with it. One of the things I can do is change how it looks. Let's put data labels on. Change the color. I'm going to go to black. Go back to my data set. Next what I'm going to do is drag in position onto the canvas. I'm going to choose this visualization here and once again pull in position specific rating. So we can see that we've got an interesting interaction that exists between these two charts. When I choose just midfielders, midfielders are shown only on the chart defenders and strikers or I can clear and the same thing happens the other way around if I choose one player on the chart only a part of the chart on the right shows not a huge fan of these charts but I'm going to put one on anyway let's put on one of the measures physical and choose a gauge And so now if I pick a player, we can see that her average gauge is 71. Let's work on this a little bit. We can change the axis and put a target in as well. Target might be 80. While we're there, let's change the color. One more thing that I want to add on this chart is a line chart for shots, goals and assists.
If I drag the year up to the axis, we can see that we get 2013, 14 and 15 and 16 there. As before, change the colour, purple this time. Do a second one like that, turn it into a line chart, drag year into the axis, make it about the same size as the one above, blend them into each other a little bit more, and for both of these charts, representing them as average was what my intention was. So you can see there's a lot of similarities to pivot tables here. You can build your visualizations, but the difference is they all interact with each other. So you can look at defensive, midfield, striker groups, and all the other visualizations update and change. And one thing that's really interesting is if you have a look at this visualization on the left here, which is average of position specific rating by player, I can pull opponent into the axis field of the chart and nothing happens at the moment but if I choose this option here it allows me to turn on drill down so let's do that now I can double click on Amelia and I can see her performances against all opponents or I could go back to all the athletes showing and so that drill down feature can go down multiple layers. I could also put year into those axes and then would have a double drill down. So if I double clicked on Argentina, it would take me to 13, 14, 15 and 16. And so I can go back two steps inside one chart. So that drill down feature, the ability to connect between the visualizations and also something that we didn't actually look at, which is automatically importing new data makes Power BI an attractive little option to consider. Another thing that's very attractive about Power BI is that you could publish this to an iPad or a phone and so they could be looking at this online as well so something that Excel struggles with Power BI is taking over.